Imperial Mad 19. I'm going to play a little bit of this 2011 roster that I had downloaded a couple of years ago. Um, so yesterday I tried streaming this game, but for some strange reason, the stream immediately started pixelating and buffering. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up the stream right now as we get started. And if it starts streaming uh, perfectly, we'll just enjoy it and keep it going. If it starts pixelating and there's issues, then obviously we'll have to hop to Madden 21. With that, let's get on up to Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis. For the call, we bring in our broadcasters. Brandon Goddard, All right, stream is Charles up, Davis. and it looks good for right now. Fingers crossed. Hopefully it stays that way. Um, I've kind of thought about for franchise, instead of bringing you guys the whole game, I've thought about doing something where I, like, just play the second half of games that way you guys aren't bored <laughs> just sitting there watching me for 30 minutes play a game 15 minutes seems a lot more doable there you go hank basket i remember that guy the guy who did this these rosters did an amazing job honestly he copied every rating by hand over from madden 11 i mean does it get any more like like dedicated than that. I mean, I did the same thing for Madden 08. I didn't think other people actually did that, but yeah. Uh, let's do by speed option conservative pass rush for ball conservative. All right, we are good to go. Oh my goodness. I'm about to say, this is like prime Adrian Peterson, so I have a feeling we're going to have a lot of trouble tackling this dude. <laughs> how this defense continues to play him here in the first half yeah we know you know better than i he has the ability to take over a game so what do you do yeah i think you have to make sure that you bottle him in i keep hitting the analog because of madden 21 everyone to the line of scrimmage bernard barian oh dear goodness I, the one thing I don't like, he set everyone's break tackle rating to that of their elusiveness, which is not a good balancing balancing decision. That just makes it to where every f finesse guy is like extremely overpowered. <clears throat> but other than that, that would be my one critique. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there. Second down. Right, see Double here. this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us and he's like, hey, these go. pants make me look Green, fat. And we said, no. Nah. I don't know why they don't shift over. Oh my goodness. You can tell how fast he is immediately. Dude. <laughs> He's gonna be impossible to stop. I can, I can feel it. He's just gonna be ridiculous. First down. So so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. All right. So I think X is power move and and A is finesse. There you go. If this was on all Madden, they would have scored like two touchdowns by now. And just from me talking in this short four-minute period. <laughs> yeah, that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends are like in a sprinter stance. All right. He's headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that. Come on, finesse move. Finesse move. Get off the block. Oh, Sidney Rice so open. What in the world? I told him to cover inside as well. Okay, third down and two. We're going to run a little bit of zone right here. What the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. Power move, finesse move. I don't know why they never patched that weird thing where you get stuck in that on the ground after a tackle. 
I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker, and what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. And his kick is good. And the Vikings have a 3 0 lead. So a nice opening okay. drive on the road. You get the three points. Part of you wonders if that might hurt them later not getting into the end zone. Well, the good thing is, still first quarter, and they did come out of it with points. In a sense, they could look at it positively and say, hey, we set the pace in this one. I think that's how they'll go about it. I thought Pierre Garçon was going to get the block. I was mistaken. All right. Aggressive. Aggressive. Conservative. And yes, this is before Peyton Manning had the, the neck surgery that ended his season. Donald Brown. Wow, I forgot to have him. Okay. Is that Cedric Griffin? Yeah, it is. Wow. The success there, Charles coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious Do we have any? Oh. We oh, I chose. Yeah, I chose spread because of all the shotgun stuff. And, and uh, big mistake. You can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it big mistake now that because now there's no fullback, but they don't use a fullback traditionally in, in Indianapolis when Peyton was there. Anyway, they'd have Jacob Jacob Tammy in the backfield. In fact, they don't. I don't think they had a fullback after Edger and James left. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the more I play Madden 21, the more I really appreciate it. Um, it's just tough. I, I don't want to fully get away from, like, this game. But I do understand, like, it's heavily animation-based and people won't like that. But... I also just like the sheer fact of how fast roster creation and stuff is on this game. It's super easy, super quick. Move players around, adjust height, weight, numbers, everything, their name. I mean, it's it doesn't get much more streamlined than that. Ooh. All right. Joseph Adai is actually. I don't see a situation where we don't actually just go for it. But we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers of reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it yeah. turns into. Yeah, we're we're definitely going for it. There's no way we don't. Dominic Rhodes. He's definitely not a power back, but okay. Spread isn't that bad, except, like I said, for the sheer fact that there's no eye formation. <laughs> that was, like, my biggest mistake. Watch out. And I end up running into my blocker a little bit right there. I just hate that every run play has to pretty much be a draw. That's the only thing I hate. I, I think, oh man, it's really tough because a lot of people in my chat tell me about how much they love Madden 15 and 16. I never played those. I don't have them. I don't really want to go out and buy them either. Ooh, golly. That Tank Williams? I think that's Tank Williams. Um, but it's like if I had to recommend a Madden to play present day, I mean, I would probably recommend Madden 21. Next gen. Not old gen, but next gen. Uh, like the only problem is not everyone is next gen. Like some people are on PC. Some people just uh, are only on old gen. So I can't really recommend that game because not everyone would be able to get it. This, however, 
is an old gen version because there was no next gen. The only thing I, I, I strongly suggest about this game is tweaking the, the, the settings. Oh my goodness. Please dive on it. Never mind. I went our guys. Please dive on it. But okay. Well, we were driving, boys. We had a good drive going right there. I mean, they've got, they dialed up a pretty good run blitz there. And, and, and Brandon, you know that all blitzes aren't just designed to get to the quarterback in the passer. Sometimes you're just trying to... I know these guys are all finesse moves. Okay, he's got bulldozed to the ground. Goodness. The game... I, this is... It's weird. I don't know how, I'm a, how, how to say this. The game looks and plays better when I'm not controlling people. Like, the moves that Adrian Peterson does, his running stuff, looks pretty pretty smooth when he's just doing his own thing. Alright, now we're in two-minute mode. We're going to go ahead and come out and dime just to begin. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half, one that's featured no touchdowns as of yet on either side. All these guys are finesse rush. Okay. Ooh, good play. Tim Jennings, I think, is who that was. I remember all these guys. That's, that's so funny. We're down at seven. You know what, guys? You have a blazing guy on a blazing guy, and defensively, I know Brett Favre has like no mobility, so. Have a guy that fast, and he can close at the end of a play and knock it away. That's a big deal. We just saw him do it right there. Oh. Bob Sanders was closing down on. There's times where this game looks really smooth and it plays really smooth, and and then there's others where it's a little bit shifty, a little robotic. It's pretty stiff. I don't know. I just. I just can't get away from it, y'all. I don't know. I don't know how else to describe it. I actually meant to hit screen, but that's okay. We'll go with this. Alright, let's see what happens. Okay. Alright, very nice. Okay, can I do I have to waste all my time looking at this? And that's one of his advantages of a passer is now with his height setting back there in the pocket, firing over the middle, he can really see everything clearly. It is, and I know that other quarterbacks get it done different ways. All right? You don't have to be his height to make a great play. But what he does is he takes away having to make those Come on, man. I hate to have to sit there and view all this stuff. It's wasting time. He just throws right over the top of it because he can see everything. And sometimes that saves time and gets the ball to a receiver quicker. Wide open receiver complete. I'm running. A really nice gain of 25. Yeah, I think I just from a the tackles may be soft and animation sometimes might be too quick. But overall the movement, everything, it is it's just I would say 21's a, a better game overall. But I still have a, a major soft spot for like this game. And that's why you see me playing it now. I just I just can't get rid of it. Did he get it? No, come on. I said I said position catch. Wow. Okay. Now he'll look to throw here on second and ten. Okay. My man is shuffle, 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 shuffle. And he's out here. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense in balance with what they're doing. I All think right. the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter. He didn't even try to catch it. What in the world? Like there's no animation triggered. Like the the game didn't know what to do right there. Minnesota D up to the task on the third down pass play. I might miss this. Nope, never mind. Defense right there. Okay, well, we're tied 3-3 when we should have just had a TD right there, but let's not talk about it. That's unfortunate. 
This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Now the Minnesota offense I don't, I don't, I don't think the they're... Off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Right, go. Time to shake Green, things up a little bit to try and get this What in the world? Why are we double teaming that? That's weird. That was a face mask and a half? Goodness. No call, okay. I see you. And maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Come on. Never mind. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. As it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. All right, we should be good. If they're going to take something, it's going to have to be underneath. They go play action here on first down. Never mind. Golly, bro. How is he that wide open? Now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. As it'll come with 15 All right. seconds to play in the first half. Okay, let's not do that again, please. Back to throw now on first down. How do you get beat? How did he get beat? How, How did he get beat? Bro, I am lost. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Now a shotgun snap is still look to throw. And he'll get Golly. To the end zone. I had him covering underneath too, so he'd be sitting right there and he'd be able to jump that, but I don't know, he just didn't dump it jump it like I was anticipating. Because I I went from covering over the top to covering underneath with the zones. And that changes the AI on your defense or your defender. So yeah, that just did not work out. I sh I, it, it, to be fair, like I said, it should be 7 to 10. I should have scored. Yeah, that, I know that didn't look the best. Alright. Now that we're... We're going to swap. I'm not going to advertise this as me testing thresholds, but if you view it all the way through, then you'll know. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. These are the, this is what the Super Bowl should have been in 2009, honestly. And a good return Ooh, he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Out come the Colts. They'll have it first here to start quarter number Their three. defense is really good. They keep stuffing everything. A little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess that in the locker room, they talked about... Okay. I did a precision juke to the right, and none of it registered. In fact, if you listen, I'm sure if you watch that back and listen closely, you will hear the analog. Keep in mind, my audio of my recording or my voice is, is delayed. But that's that's so weird. That didn't register. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I I think I like this more than 18, but I know a lot of people don't like how animation dependent it is, which I understand. It's kind of weird though, like the way everything's happening on one. Let's go back to zero. See if we can smooth it out. It's just really weird that everything is happening this way. Back to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Call it again is seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from. <laughs> this is going to end so badly. Oh, he must not have any jukes. That was terrible. <clears throat> Indianapolis moving the chains there on a gain of 12. 
Well, so much for him being bottled up throughout the day. Finally finds a way to break through. Okay, so Marvin Harrison had already retired on Madden 11. Okay. They had going. Now they've got to turn their attention to getting it back in that direction. Can they bottle him up again? Because I'd say after that run, confidence is pretty high for him. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Like, if you visual sim this by uh, going to super, stem, super sim, hit slow, and then say simulate to end of game, it looks a lot better than, than like what I'm playing. I don't, I don't know why. This is, a, this is a pretty good visual sim Madden, but people on YouTube don't really get interested with all this, with all that. So, I mean, the coach mode or OC mode was kind of cool, but... I don't know, just people don't really respond to it. I wish I would be playing at Madden 18 more if it didn't have the limp ragdoll stuff. I just, uh, I just really hate the way it looks. Alright, we're going to cut it back with Donald Brown because there ain't nothing over to that side except the defenders. Never mind. Stuffed by Kevin Williams. The best offenses and the ones that win are ones that make adjustments. And right now, I think this team needs to open things. Reggie Wayne in the slot. This should be nice. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. He fumbled. Oh my goodness, dude. I just noticed that when I take control of the receiver after the catch, like all their momentum stops. Often on fumbles, you look at the guy who coughed it up and say, geez, what did he do? But hey, let's tip the cap to the defense here. Not a problem at all, my man. I'm not even gonna tip it. I'm gonna doff my cap to it. Congratulations, big time play. Knocking it free and creating something good for your team. Personal foul, face mask, defense. <sighs> yeah, that was pretty obvious. Pretty obvious. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it, that's going to be 15 yards. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and 10. All right, power move. Or finesse, I mean. Wait, no, X is power. Yeah, X is power move. A is finesse. But the Colts had this really finesse pass rushing defensive line anyway, so it really doesn't matter who I use. It's going to be pretty much the same moves for each person. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. And he's going to take this one across midfield. And yeah, this isn't, uh, this isn't playing as smooth as... I don't know why. Uh, some nights when you hop on, like, nothing plays smooth, and then some nights everything is smooth. How about him keeping the clock moving, staying in bounds? Yeah, even though it's the third quarter, you're thinking ahead, aren't you? This is where your running game can really help you with a lead in the second half. I agree totally. It's not just end-of-the-half situations that you worry about the clock. It's throughout the game, and with the lead, stay in bounds. Nope, power move, nope. Finesse move, nope. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. All right. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. One thing sure Doesn't matter. This is going into the half anyway, or fourth quarter. I just like I felt so scripted that we were supposed to like lose this because we we are playing better than Minnesota. But that weird animate lack of animation where I hit Anthony Gonzalez in the head with the football, the fumble by Dallas Clark, like really, I just that just seems so fake to me. Good play. Gary Brackett, I see you. Think about all the practices we've watched where they have that tempo period to go over things just like this. Where they describe the scenario, tell you what they're looking for. We're getting drove off the ball. 
Talk about a shoestring tackle. They're glitching through the ground. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. The recipe is pretty simple, I think, right? Just give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. Yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence and in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. No, nope. sure get off my block. Why do I got to get double teamed out? Oh, good play. This is going to be incomplete. I have their fastest corner on their... Well, well, no, I said that wrong. I have my fastest corner on their fastest receiver, which is obviously Percy Harvin. I didn't really want to do it by overall because I was like, no, if I do it like that, they might end up doing some tomfoolery with the slot receiver and some ultra speed guy. And I was like, no, we just don't want to have that happen. And his kick is good. Oh, he just did tuck it into okay. the bottom of that left corner. I still, uh, this game still owes me like a touchdown too. That's just even more annoying. I mean, I'm not playing bad. I just don't like. I'm not playing bad by any means, but it's just for some strange reason, it just feels like everything is scripted against me. <laughs> All right, I gotta go hurry up because I've gotta score twice, and I just don't have time. I don't have time to, to run the ball. Alright. Dude, Peyton Manning's accuracy is ridiculous. He might have been out of bounds, let's just be real. No? Okay. Uh, Mike Hart, you can stay in. It did not pay off. And that means he lost a timeout in that challenge. And as a coach, you hate that. Don't know if you yeah, so I need to just let the receivers catch it and run. I'm not even exaggerating because the way that they can get upfield without losing momentum is, like, not possible for me. Because if I start rounding my analog to, like, turn upfield, they get, like, an unnecessary cut and lose all their momentum. And then all of a sudden, boom, you lose the challenge. Yeah, when you take a look at it, you're throwing that flag because you believe you're going to be right. And when it comes back the other way, okay. you have to Can't use any timeouts either, so. Come on, game. There we go. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time No, I, I, I need all the time I can get, so we're going to hurry up. The urgency, maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. And they'll get this one to about the 20. Like I said, I'm not playing bad. Just some random events keep happening. And I'm just kind of like shaking my head out like, nah, bro, that feels script scripted. Bend but don't break, but are they bending too much? I think that they are. To me, it'd be like playing basketball and you put up a token press. Make sure you get up there and make them eat up some time. Make it okay. a little bit of resistance so they can't just run it right down. Okay. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice game there. This one goes for 20. The goal for any offense versus his own defense. Okay. Can this get off my screen so I can see? Thank you. And put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and oh fill it. They did it well there. Gracious, bro. That is not what I thought that route was going to look like. I was looking for A to come in between. Instead, he just goes right to the defender and sits there. Smart decision here. This close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. Down this close to the goal line. First down. Okay, can we try that again, but like not have terrible routes? I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down. Dude, they are not. This is such a waste. Such a waste. We do have a yes, I know. I did, I tried to get out of bound, uh, out of the, the tackle box. I didn't succeed. So. Okay. Let's try it again. All right. I don't know what this is going to even look like. If, in, if anybody's going to even get open, sure. Maybe. There you go. Whew. Okay. Still an important piece of business to take care of. The extra point. <sighs> I was just worried I was going to get sacked, but then I kind of thought about it. The Colts, back when Peyton Manning was there, they went pure pass blocking across the offensive line, which is something I like. Like, running the ball, we were running the ball pretty effectively with Donald Brown. 
even out of shotgun. So I just don't like getting sacked. I, I want like all pass blockers, honestly. All right, they're obviously just gonna sit here and try to run the ball. Comes Minnesota, and fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's now. game Green, are so good. They're into the right. It might be. Oh my goodness! Please don't let Chester Taylor be running like that, bro. They got three points out. They've got to feel good about that, and they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah. Now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. Like he'll throw here. Let's go! I was not going to be denied with Robert Mathis. I was like, get off me. Okay. But here's the here's the here's the thing. Third and fifteen. Do we bring a blitz? I'm gonna go for it, because I know Brett Favre cannot scramble. The Vikings on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This will be third and 15. Four down, four down. Hurry up, here we go. Green, 39. And run oh, my goodness. Please get this guy. I literally thought he was about to be gone. Now here's a whistle. Okay, well, now I've got a minute and 40, no timeouts. Classic pace, man. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody please go get a block. And hey, I get a little bit of return too. <laughs> Never mind. A very good return there. Give him an even 20 yards. Okay. All right, all right. Hands first and 10. All right, we're going to go now as they get set to take over. They're only in need of a field goal, a decent amount of time on the clock. So Tell me if I'm wrong. You don't have to be too panicked here. No, not at all. I agree with you. And this Man, I don't care if Dallas Clark is in because he's really good. Let's do, let's do some trio stuff. All the time. They know what they want to get done. All right, let's go. Cases, the great competitors, they love this situation. They think they can go ahead. Donald Brown, please stay in a block so I don't get sacked. Thank you. Back to throw. Whoa, no, 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 no. I hit A instead of X. I hit A instead of X. Oh my goodness. That could have been so bad. <sighs> I realized immediately where my finger went to. This is, this was sort of the play. No, I meant to hit X and I hit A and that almost ended very badly because of that. I tried to I tried to sneak it on over the linebacker, but he didn't quite get enough touch on that. I would expect to see some pressure here. So back to back incompletions now third and ten. And first things first, before you think about marching the ball down the field, you gotta move the chains. Yeah, I know. I'm not playing very well right now. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. He dropped it. Oh my goodness. Well, we have to go for it. There is no other way around it. Are they in cover one or cover three? What is going on here? Okay, well, that one's over because for some reason he didn't. But this one is going to wind up incomplete. So now let's look okay. at the situation. That's crazy. I played so good the whole game and then get down to the end. Throw to the wrong receiver. Yeah, golly, man. Oh, that's depressing. That's depressing. We play better than them. We played so much better than them today. This game should be over. Take the knee, hold on to the ball. By the way, so impressive that you do have a time management chart up here. Listen, you know I can't count. So <laughs> I need it in a big way. We can't hire anyone to help us out. So All right, well, that's it. That's pretty much the final play right there. I don't know about you, partner, but watching them take But apparently I've got it. Yep, there you go. Like ah, <sighs> man. Good job on the roster. Good job on the roster, the guy who made it. I mean, very thorough, very detailed roster. Very nice job with the roster. 
I thought it was pretty. I can't help myself. I thought it was pretty. Yeah, we ran the ball pretty effectively. I can't wait to see the stats. I want to see what happened. I mean, I I didn't that last drive. Oh my goodness. I was trying to hit it like the deep cross, and instead I hit A. And almost got it picked. Almost got it picked two times, like right back to back. The one time, like where I don't need to play poor as a quarterback. <laughs> together and get it done nice little pass to Anthony Gonzalez right there huh yeah right there Antoine Bethea I thought he was gonna so jump that but apparently not Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL hey look passing yards rush yards EA yards Sports. per play zero takeaways that fumble though that that fumble that happened with Dallas Clark that was questionable. We should have won this game. I should have played better at the end, but we definitely should have won this game. The white friend is like, man, you guys suck. He's talking about me. <laughs> oh, well. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to drop a like. I will continue to, you know, drizzle in some Madden 19, although Madden 21 has completely, like, captured my attention. Madden 21 next gen, just so we're all on the same page. Old gen is terrible. But anyway, guys, God bless you. Jesus loves you. Eldest the Great, out.